Good morning, traders. So how do we trade the Aussie today, the South African top 40? So we had a, a indecision bar on Monday, and then yesterday we had a, another indecision bar, but probably more of a pin bar than an indecision bar. Okay, so if you look, there's a, a nice pin bar, pretty much similar to this. This body just a bit bigger than what this one is. And uh, let's get down to the 30 because uh, absolute chaos yesterday. So if you see, we, we gapped down and pretty much had a 600 point move down and then had a recovery of 800 points. So pretty much confusion. You can see we trended down, strong move up, strong move down, strong move up. We have not created a new high. Okay, um, so we haven't created a new high. You can see we have diversions here, so the trend is down. Okay, and then if you look at the oscillator, so we had a high, then we had a lower high, and the diversion, oh, sorry, the um, oscillator has created a higher high from there to there. So this is continuation diversions, which is indicating that there is still another pullback happening. However, this could be the pullback here. So what has happened here is we've broken through the moving averages, okay? And remember what I say, uh, we're looking for story of threes. So there is my first break of the moving averages and test, and we fell off, okay? Here is my second breakout of the moving averages and a crossover and a crossover. So this is where I start watching to see whether we are going to be um, whether it is a case of third time lucky. So we are below the moving average again, as you see whether we gap up and move to the upside. Now, for me on the Aussie at the moment, there are still two possibilities. There is still another possibility for move to the downside. And I just want to get rid of that noise. And this level over here. So you can see there's this previous uh, swing low at uh, 48,430 and it ties up with this tail here. Okay, and I think uh, what we can do is just move that one down. There's another swing low there. Okay, and you can see how that was used as support previously. Okay, so there is still a possibility that we come down and tag these um, levels to the downside. One thing that is starting to show up is diversions on the daily. And these diversions is reverse, oh, sorry, uh, normal diversions, which is basically an indication that price is going to move to the upside. If we look at that on the four hour, you will see that we are kind of also have diversions. So there's a lower low. There's a so there's a there's a low, and we have a higher low on, on the oscillator, and here we have a low and then a lower low. Okay, and the other thing to point out is that we did get a crossover here. This happened last week though, and that was our first signal. So this is an inside bar. We've now got a fairly decent um, pin bar on the four hour here. We've got two in actual fact. So we've got a pin bar and then an engulfing pin bar here. So that is my second long signal that is brewed. So trading this purely on price action, you're looking for a break of 54.20 with a stop below. Uh, 49, what's that, 49.198? Yeah, so 49, I would say around 49,100 in actual fact. Now the problem with that is, let's do that, you're talking about a 1,400 point stop loss. So you've got to be trading with uh, like 10 cent and uh, 50 cent contracts in order for that to, to play out. So what I want to do is basically just watch the the 12 or even the, you know, the 30 minutes. So 30 minutes, you can watch the hour as well if you want to, but you know, it doesn't leave you with uh, 
there's always quite a bit on the table, but it's, uh, you're leaving quite a bit of money on the table. So I think um, what we're looking for really on the hour as well is a, a proper crossover here. Okay. So let's just ignore everything else. Focus on the hour and say we have a downward trend line here. Okay. But if you look at from that to there, we have a little bit of a flag, potential flag. So we had a strong move up and then consolidation at the close. So if we have a look at the elements that are going to affect us at the moment, the one is the RAND. And RAND is sitting at 14.36. A real big change there. 10 cent is... Uh, flat it's down 0 0.06 at the moment so nothing really to write home about and then obviously the US was closed flat yesterday although they did have a bit of a rally well the Dow had a bit of a rally so nothing to read into that um, Hang Seng is up slightly call it flat it's up 0.12 percent so yeah there's nothing happening on the international markets right now that is indicating that we have a good chance of moving to the upside so I would expect us more than likely to either consolidate or move to the downside again uh, looking to form a higher low now that would be very interesting because you have a lower low here so it's low then you have a lower low here so if we have a little bit of a pullback here find a base and then move to the upside then you have a fairly decent probability of breaking this level here and this is ultimately the level I'm looking to I'm looking out for so it's 40 50,400 is the area that I'm watching for a a break and the reason why I'm saying that is that, that is the four hour fractional level at the moment okay and if a break of this four hour fractional level which would be above both moving averages which is fairly bullish and that's kind of the move that I'm looking for okay um, these two signals are fairly strong I would have preferred this second bar here to close on its high and not uh, sort of have a pin bar at the top because that's giving you some indecision. So, which is fine by me. Uh, if there is indecision, I will wait it out to see where the opportunity lies. Okay. So, that's kind of um, what I'm looking for at the moment. Um, probably sort of a, a gentle drift down and another way of just make sure that you have your... Sorry, just make sure you've got your um, Fibonacci in and you will see that we haven't pulled back the 50 or the 61.8. So that's kind of what I'd like to see. Okay. And then I just want to just use this, no. put a new line in here just to check. Okay. These are all closed. So let me just use this to show you guys something else. Okay, you often hear me talk about the Brooks Gap or the inside tail. Now here's an example of uniform, perfect candles moving to the upside. Okay, so in other words, this candle has a high up there. You can see it came back and we closed above it okay the next candle this one here came back to test this level okay it's ever so slightly open one like half a point or one point open see there's a tail and this tail didn't come back and test the breakout okay but they're all exactly the same you can see they all make an attempt to come back and close this level Okay, that's the first one that didn't happen. That one happened. See, there's the breakout level. This bar came back to test the breakout level. There's the high. It broke out and made an attempt to come back and test the breakout level. Okay, so when you see candles like this, where they're all green and uh, you can see the tails coming back pretty close to close the levels, and you know they're not crazy big. You know, the first one is big, and then 
they get smaller and smaller and then all of a sudden you get a big one that's your exhaustion bar which is the warning that this uh, move is over okay so this is classic we're really classic have price action so it's, it's something to watch for when you see this kind of setup um, you, know, you want to be in on it uh, obviously you don't want to be in on this bar here but you see all these small little bars like this it's well worth getting in and putting your stock below the bar because you see it can sometimes you know, this thing can continue for two three days on the same way um, and then often your signal is pretty easy to read because you'll see there's your um, exhaustion bar so that's your warning you've got your inside bar you're looking for your second attempt to the upside there comes your second attempt to the upside turns out to be a pin bar and you know to get out of it okay so for me today um, I'd like to see a little bit of a pullback uh, we may get it so sort of uh, come back down to a Fibonacci level I'm just going to take the midline of the Fibonacci here so come back down into the 49 um, what is this probably between 49,500 and 49,520 and probably 600 650 so somewhere around the 49,600 49,550 area that's to me would be a pretty good area to to try and look for a long okay so that's my view on this at the moment I will we'll definitely wait and see what happens uh, for at least through the open and probably through the first uh, half hour of, op of the real market trading just to see what whether we're sort of meandering to the downside or whether we're starting to consolidate or it's a, a pretty sharp move down now just bear in mind we haven't created a higher low okay we have created lower lows and just look at that on the, the hour we are below the moving averages still um, we've had one breakout and we've had a second breakout so you know are we going to get another breakout and third time lucky which uh, on the hour would take out the high of yesterday which would be a fairly bullish signal and then the high of Friday oh sorry that's Monday so the high of Monday and the high of, of, of yesterday those are the two levels that we need to watch for okay so yeah so that's my take on this at the moment um, I still believe that we are forming uh, a base and uh, just bear in mind that there is still possibility that we can move down to the 48 600 uh, 48 400 area okay um, that is sort of a is another level to the downside which is fairly significant just want to get up the monthly here and you'll see what I mean okay so you see the previous highs on the monthly and how, how we keep testing this I mean, we're testing it all year pretty much okay so the other level that we're talking about is right there and then the last one is that one there okay so so yeah so this is kind of uh, what we're looking at and you can see on the monthly there's lots of tails more to the downside than the upside but um, the significant factor here only two days into the month but we are we opened below the moving average okay so it's kind of you know jury still out whether we are moving up or down okay so for me I'm still optimistic that we're moving up and uh, I'm just looking for a, a better entry than what we see on the table at the moment okay so ideally what I want to see is a higher low and it'll give me an opportunity to get in and start loading up for a reasonably good swing trade to the upside okay so that's my view on the Aussie for today um, clearly a buy the dip um, scenario at the moment because I do feel that we are consolidating here and um, you want to be in on this and uh, sorry as far as I'm concerned when you start looking at the Aussie you, you we had this move up and then we've had another move down now have a look at the diversions here so there's the previous swing low and there's the swing low so low lower low and have a look at the oscillator low higher low okay so that's my view on this um, I do suspect we're going to move to the upside uh, maybe a bit of consolidation maybe a little bit of a pullback before we accelerate to the upside and then the last thing to point out here is 
we do have a little bit of a flag and I suppose just look at it on the 12 minutes um, or channel still a flag so strong move up lots of consolidation I'm expecting this 800 point move up to be replicated today okay that's kind of uh, my view on this anyway guys so watch carefully wait for the open we start forming a base I mean if we do form a base over there that would be ideal but obviously you'd like to see it down here in the 50% to 61% Fibonacci pullback and at which point we're looking for a long if you look on the 12 minute just wait for a crossover the oscillators or even a grouping down at the bottom here something like this okay and again uh, you can see how we're outside the Bollinger here crossover massive pin bar here uh, you would have been thinking right there's an opportunity to be long here and immediately the bears step in to trap you very typical of the Aussie so I like waiting for the second signal this was the first signal um, this was a second signal but we didn't get above it okay so if we'd broken above this level here then there would have been an opportunity but we didn't sort of fell off had an inside bar and then fell off to the downside and that was my second signal there well my third signal okay and third time lucky uh, everything's lined up I'm now looking for price action I get my first one I do get my second one I'm looking for a break of of um, that level there but use the fractal so look to the left you see there's a fractal so I'm looking for a break of that fractal so that's where my entry long would have been for this second signal didn't happen fell off okay um, that was my inside bar off a level so there would have been my signal okay so that's kind of what we're looking for today we're looking for maybe a bit more consolidation find a base and then we're in long anyway guys um, hope it helps and uh, stay safe I'll catch up with you guys later enjoy your day cheers for now